I mean, seriously, it, it was rough and I don't smoke. I don't smoke, but I felt like I needed to after all the drama. Confession, I love advent calendars. I buy a lot of them every year and I have yet to ever finish one. But does that stop me? No, because I like to be surprised. I like to get the advent calendars where they are constantly giving me things and it is my choice as to whether I want to make things with the items they have given me. And it seems like a lot of times I choose not to make the things. So today I'm going to show you some that I have bought, some that are available right now, and if you're wanting an advent calendar that actually gives you things, you need to get on that. Some of them have already sold out because you really have to start planning these ahead of time. But in case you miss the ones that are constantly gifting you things, you can make your own. So I'm going to show you some free and paid for patterns that are out there right now that I think are cute, that will hopefully help those of you who enjoy having something to make each day or those of you who absolutely do not want to be put on a schedule and you are not doing that all the time. I hope I found something that kind of fits in the mix with all of those. The first one is MJ's Off the Hook Merry Advent Calendar. And I actually bought this one last year and I never did it. So I am doing it this year. The nice thing about an advent calendar is if you don't get it done the year you buy it, the next December, there's still 24 days before Christmas you have time and you can do it then. So I am doing it now so I can have Christmas decorations back there of things that I've actually completed because I like to look like I do things and I don't always do things, but we're gonna make it look like I do. You get a very good PDF and she has a lot of video tutorials and I think the tutorials are free on her page. You could actually just do the tutorials if you didn't want to buy the PDF. I like the PDF though, cause I can speed through that. I have already made eight of my pieces and the way this calendar works is she gives you patterns for three types of designs. You can do what she calls a textured stocking or mitten, a bobble stitch mitten or stocking and a striped mitten or stocking. And right now I have just gotten my bobble mittens and my textured mittens done. And these worked up really fast. I've done all of these since yesterday afternoon and it is still the morning of today. They take about 30 minutes a piece, 20, 30 minutes. They are not complicated. And this has actually been kind of fun. The pattern is very quick to remember and work up. So this is a really fun one. She shows you how to make the little display. She makes this little Christmas tree display and she shows you how to do that in her PDF version. I don't think that's on her channel, but I'm actually gonna have my husband make something for me because that little hangy thing won't go in my craft room because I'm not getting rid of Steve. You know, it's the holiday season. His feelings would be hurt. He's, he's staying right there. Steve's not going anywhere. The next paid for advent is Yarnier's advent calendar. And Yarnier, they actually have a monthly subscription box and they have a lot of really nice yarns. I have yet to ever buy from them. So this was a splurge for me. This one is not cheap. This is the most expensive one I have bought, but I had just sold a couple of my pieces. So I had a little bit of money and I can never keep money in my business account. So I bought more things with this. And this is what I bought for myself for Christmas. This advent is $150. So like I said, it's not cheap, but here's how you can justify that. You are getting 12 skeins of hand dyed yarn and here's the kicker. It comes in a free bag, sold, sold. And this is the first time they have ever put it in this type of bag. They have two colorways you can choose. One is like a woodland forest and the other is more of a, a pop art modern colors and because I somewhat like obnoxious colors I went with that route and you can choose to either do knit or crochet do a cow or ami gurumi pieces so I chose the ami gurumi kit and it should be coming soon and I'm very excited I think there are still some of those left I'll be sure and have a link to all of these down below 
that one I'm really excited about because I rarely work with hand dyed yarns, mostly because they come in hanks and I hate hanks, but they're beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm spurging. The next one that I found is if you are a person who enjoys hand dyed yarns, this was the most moderately priced advent that I could find that is hand dyed yarns. And this one is the Holiday Cooking Yarn Advent. And this is on Etsy. It is $75, so it's kind of in the mid range. Any of these calendars that I have found, if they are giving you something to open each day, none of them are cheap. That's the only drawback. If you want the kind that gives and you do not have to give back, they're expensive. Like I said, it is on Etsy and it is by Gem State Yarns. It looks really neat. All the yarns are themed with holiday food colors, which I think sounds very pretty. If you don't want to make something every day, but you would still like to get a gift every day, this one I thought was very cute and it is a stitch marker advent. I know in crochet, we don't necessarily always use stitch markers the way that knitters use stitch markers, but if you were a person that also enjoys making blankets, you can consider them as a progress keeper. So you just mark where you started for a day and then where you end just to see how much you've done. I do that with some of my blankets. It's kind of fun to see if I've actually been productive on my pieces or if I had a life on other days and I chose not to crochet or if I was maybe lazy and chose to crochet a lot. I kind of like seeing where I fall in that spectrum. Usually I crochet a lot because I'm lazy. And some of you might crochet in it. This would be a nice one for you. And you can choose the type of clip you want. So if you want like a lobster clip or a closed ring, I think you can also choose a free gift. Some days you get a stitch marker plus a, a little extra goodie. I thought that sounded kind of fun. And that is $41.83. It's the most moderately priced one that I thought looked like it would be worth that price. The next advent we're gonna talk about is the Crochet Society advent. Now it is actually already sold out and I really contemplated whether I wanted to get this again this year. But this year they offered an amigurumi set that you could do versus making the blanket and I kind of wanted to see what that was about. And there's a designer and I get her newsletter every month, but I cannot remember her name. I don't know if she's doing all the patterns or just some of the patterns for this year's calendar. I'm excited to see what she does. Let me tell y'all, last year when I did the calendar, I did open my little box every day to see what was there. And let me show you what it looks like. Here it is. It is not small. And I kept this. Why I kept it? I don't know. It's such a pretty box. I was like, I can't throw this away in good conscience. And you open it up and it is all decorated. It is so pretty. I love the box. And on the back of these boxes, there is a puzzle. You have to try to figure out a little secret message they put in and then you can win a prize or something. And that part was fun. Here's where my issues lied with that advent last year. And some of it has nothing to do with the advent. Some of it has to do with us. I joined the Facebook group and here in the States, the pattern would drop in the UK before it would hit here. And so overnight, people in the UK had already made the pieces and they'd post pictures. Well, I tell you what, will make an American mad or some of these other people who wanted to be excited is somebody else posting what that design was for the day. <sighs> Hot, heated conversations about these people complaining that some people had already made it and posted photos and the other folks wanted to be surprised. Then, that's not all. That wasn't the only drama. The other drama was there were a lot of problems with the patterns. There were a lot of mistakes and so a lot of people felt if we're paying this much, then there should have been no mistakes in the patterns. Some people's boxes were damaged. There was a lot of complaining. Every day when I opened up Facebook, and I saw what people were doing and saying, I felt like I needed a cigarette and a beer afterwards. I mean, seriously, it, it was rough and I don't smoke. I don't smoke, but I felt like I needed to after all the drama. Maybe you're a person who enjoys drama and you just wanna see the show. 
this is a wonderful opportunity to see a show. Hopefully things are better this year and people aren't as upset and testy as they were last year because that kind of ruined it for me. I, I, I don't like arguing and there was so much arguing. There was so much complaining and people just couldn't just move on or, or at least those were the people who really professed their opinions. So I'm hoping this year is better. I did not like the design last year mostly because I hated the yarn colors. I think I've already explained that. The yarn colors were so weird. So weird. The yarn was lovely. I loved all the gifts. I'm now using that yarn for my Amigurumi patterns. For those of you who are doing the Crochet Society Advent, I will be too. Maybe we can talk about it. Maybe we can be nice about it and have nice conversations that don't make us want to drink and smoke cigarettes. Um, maybe. The next Advent box that you can still buy is the Hobie Advent box and I think it's around $115. I think there are still some left. They do sell out quickly, so if you want one of those, you can still buy one. On YouTube, and I will link her channel, her name is Coco Crochet. She has already gotten the box for this year and has opened it, so if you wanna see what's in there, she has already done that. You do get yarns and things in the advent, but they will not drop the pattern for that, I'm assuming, till December 1st. But you can go ahead and buy the advent boxes and look in it if you want to. And if you want to see what's there, go look at her channel. Another advent box that you can purchase right now is the Wooble advent box. They are putting one out and it's a little pricey. It's $125. I think there's a lot of amigurumi you're making probably quite a few little surprises along the way. And they do wonderful videos and instructions. I bet that's gonna be kind of a neat one, especially if you're a beginner, that would probably be a fun one to try. One more thing about the Woobles Advent is you need to already know how to crochet. They don't want you to buy it thinking there's gonna be a ton of tutorials for each item is what it looks like. Think about that if that is something you are considering. It is not a teaching Advent you already kind of need to know what you're doing with that one. I think that's all of the advent boxes that you can buy that are actually giving you something. And a lot of them are going fast. So if you were wanting anything like that, you probably need to jump on that pretty fast. The next section we're gonna go into are the actual countdown calendars that you can make on your own. And there's quite a few of those. Some are free, some are paid. And again, I'll put the links to everything down in the description box below. The next advent is a free one and it is by Crafty is Cool. If you don't know who Crafty is Cool is, she is the one who wrote the book Ami Grew Me. She also made one of my very favorite people in the world after the Super Bowl. She crocheted Snoop and I think she sent it to him because y'all know I love Snoop Dogg. And she crocheted him and it was, it was everything. It was perfect. She also has a free little stocking advent. You're crocheting little stockings and making a long crocheted rope to hang them on. The next free advent is a cute little gingerbread house that is a corner to corner piece and it is done by repeat crafter me sarah zimmerman it's a very cute one you are basically just making little doors or windows that have the numbers on there and you sew it on to the corner to corner piece that you have crocheted it's kind of like a graph again you're doing color work in the corner to corner to make the gingerbread house and that one is a free one Another advent is one by Lao Loves Crochet, and she is on Etsy. She has two variations of a Christmas advent. One is a tree and you're crocheting stars that are numbered. The other is actually crocheting little amigurumi characters. She actually has a lot of other really cute Christmas patterns. You've probably already seen some of these, especially her nativity wreath that she made a couple of years ago. I saw it circulating Lao Loves Crochet that did that. 
The next advent is by Pink Mouse Boutique. It is an amigurumi advent, but it's different than a lot of the others. You are creating an entire scene for this one. So there's a tree, there's a fireplace, there's characters, there's ornaments for the tree. I really like this one. This next one is for those of you who want to count down to Christmas, but you do not want to make something for every single day. One thing is plenty and then you can just be done. And this one is a crochet advent countdown calendar. It is by TLB Patterns and you basically have crocheted numbers one through 24 like a calendar and then you have a little ring that you put around each number to count down the days. This would be a pretty fast workout, probably just a couple of days, especially if you're familiar with doing tapestry crochet. I really liked this one. I thought it was very cute. This one is actually one of my very favorite ones of all of these we have looked at. It is actually on the Durable Yarn website. You have a an entire panel and you crochet your little boxes, but on each little box is a different little Christmas item. So there's sweaters and hats and mittens. And this is actually a free pattern for all of that work. I think that's a steal. It's really very pretty. Now, another one that I am going to be doing is by the same people who have put out the Halloween advent that I'm doing right now, the Amigurumi Magical School Year 5. That is Arelli Designs and Irene Strange. And it's very similar to the Halloween advent, except they are releasing something every day instead of weekly. You make something large and each day you are making an ornament to put on that large item. Last year I bought it and I didn't do it. So I am doing it this year and it's gonna be part of my decor back here and I am still working on it right now. So I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it is gonna be a part of my aesthetic in the background this year. The nice thing about those advents, you can buy previous years. So you don't have the mystery if you are not into the mystery or if you think you're not gonna like it. Remember, there's the same 24 days every year before Christmas. That never changes. You can choose a different year. And I really like that, that they make those other years available. If one of those other years is more your style versus what they're doing now. They have not released any information about the new one coming up, but I'm sure they will soon because they do it every year. And I have bought it the past two years and I have done none of it, but I like to support them. So I consider it money well spent. The next advent calendar is a, another free advent and it is through Winding Road Crochet. This goes in really well this year with everybody making hexagon things. These are little hexagons that you are crocheting together to build a tree and the base and then there are wooden circles with the numbers that you crochet into or sew or glue on to the hexagons. It's very cute, very pretty and it's free. This is another free advent and it is on a website called gather.how. It's a very pretty house tapestry and you could change the colors to suit whatever your theme is in your home, but it's very pretty and each of the boxes look like windows in this large building. There are little leaves and things that you can make to put on the outside of each of the little boxes or various little stars and it's, it's really a very cute one. I think this would be a nice one to add to a advent stash if you're just hoarding patterns. This this is probably a good one to add to the hoard. This next one I think is so pretty. It is not at all traditional Christmas colors, but you could change it to be whatever colors you like, but I actually really like the colors she's chosen here. And it is called the Modern Crochet Advent Calendar by Cinta. And it is on a website called My Poppy Makes. This is also a free pattern and I love all the unique colors. She uses felt numbers on the outside of her little boxes, which I think is a great idea. Keeps you from having to do embroidery because I hate embroidery or crocheting a bunch of numbers. Buy them, buy the numbers. Don't put yourself through that. I'm just saying, get the wooden ones, get the felt ones, something besides you having to do that, unless you enjoy that. If you enjoy that, more power to you. I don't. I will buy a number any day of the week, 
to keep from embroidering one. Now, I don't know if I've told y'all this, but I have a slight obsession with gnomes. I have a lot of gnome patterns and I think they are adorable. I don't know whether it's that they have those little short, fat, squatty bodies and you just see their nose and their beards, but I think they're adorable. And all the little hats that people are designing for these guys, I adore. So this is a gnome pattern and he just has a really tall hat with all the numbers on there. This person has stitched them on, but as we just discussed, buy that. Buy little circles. They're not expensive. Go to Etsy and find you some little wooden circles with numbers, stick it on there, dunsies. You're all done. And it's a lot easier than doing embroidery. I'm just saying, it is worth the money in my opinion. But this guy is really cute, and for those of you who do not want to make something each day, here you go. And simple little circle, sew or glue that on that hat and you are done. Now this is another really cute take on gnomes and an advent calendar. And instead of you making all of the numbers, you are just making two square blocks. All of the numbers are on each block. You just roll the blocks like dice for each day of December. And there is a little gnome man and a little gnome woman that you can pose with your numbers. And that way you are not having to do a number for every single day. I'm all for it. I thought this one was a really cute one for those of you who do not want the obligation of doing all those numbers for all those days or all those little squares and then to sew it on something. This is the perfect option. The last advent that I'm gonna show you is one that I actually did not know was free. I have seen it floating around for a couple of years, but I didn't know this one was a free one. And it is the Snoopy and Woodstock advent calendar. This one is adorable. If you have little kids that love Charlie Brown or if you're an adult in my age, you probably really like Charlie Brown. That's actually my favorite Christmas album ever. I'll probably start playing it the day after Halloween and drive my family crazy because it is just the absolute best in my opinion, because I'm classy and old. There's that. And if you have little kids, this is probably a wonderful one. My only thing that I don't like about it is the really harsh black outline. I would probably change that to a brown or a gray or just make it not so dark. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But I think it is adorable with the lights and the numbers. And once again, you can buy those. Just a hint, you can buy the numbers. If you are not an Advent person and you have zero desire to make any of these things, then here's a couple of other options for you. Go to your favorite yarn store site, whether that be Premier, Yarn Inspirations, Hobie, We Crochet, all of those. Go to those websites and look up Christmas patterns. Almost all of them have Christmas patterns and a lot of them, especially on Hobie and Quite a few on Love Crafts and all of them on Yarn Inspirations are free. Go and look at those websites. There's a ton of free Christmas stuff out there if you're just wanting to look for Christmas patterns. Of course, there's also Ravelry, Etsy, but check your yarn fiber arts places. Furls also, they have some Christmas patterns. I don't know if people know that Furls sells yarn and patterns along with the Furls hooks. So check those out. Those are also really good resources for you. I hope this has helped. Those of you who are interested in this, those of you who are not, I completely understand. We can all still be friends. And if any of y'all are doing the Crochet Society Advent, and if you're gonna be in the Facebook group, talk to me because I hope we aren't gonna start up a really bad habit that involves alcohol and tobacco because it's possible. Let's hope this year everybody's on a little bit better behavior. But if any of y'all are doing any of these other advents, say Yarn Yay or the Hobie, good luck, have fun, and it's okay if you do not get it done, just have fun. That's what it's all about. Enjoy doing something that makes you happy, especially in a time when things are so challenging in so many places. If this is your happy, find your joy and do it. And I wish y'all a very good day and I'll see you next week. Bye.